All right, guys, sorry about that. I am back. Uh, neighbor dropped off a rum cake. <laughs> so I'm uh, not only out of breath from running up and down the stairs, but I'm also eating rum cake <laughs> as we're doing this. So, all right, let's continue. Uh, you need that evidence for the land's meat, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. And just how strong are you? I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan, I am what this country needs. Not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Okay. I want to talk to Alistair about this. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denaran. Poor Galen was a good boy. But Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble. But we should keep her close, all the same. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still... I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Um, she's single now, right? Are you thinking you might stand <laughs> a chance at courtship? It would be unseemly for her to marry so soon after Kaelin's death. She wouldn't take that risk unless it helps her secure the throne. Maybe Alistair should marry Honora. Are you serious? No. Never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. <laughs> I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Why is it so important to put Merrick's son on the throne? Ferelden was first united by Callanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Callanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. Alistair doesn't know the first thing about being king. No, I don't, which I've told both of you on many occasions. If Honora's turned against Loghain, I say let her keep the crown. It looks better on her anyway. You're both wrong. With a few months of experience, Alistair will make a fine king. He knows how to lead troops to defend his land. He knows how to stand and fight for justice. He knows how to show compassion to those less fortunate and how to trust to the Maker's guidance to know right from wrong. And he knows who to turn to for aid should that training fail him. He will be fine. Talk about something else. We certainly have a great deal to plan. What do you think he's doing in the alienage? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. I've got work to do. Of course, if I might make a suggestion... Go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy. And the sooner we know which she is, the better. Okay, uh, Alistair? I haven't been here in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Ask okay? away. Question. Of course. Uh, no. Nothing, nothing new for maybe he'll be king. Although, maybe he already knows. Ah, Riordan, hey, dude. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. Did you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together. 
more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. Um, what are your plans now? When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. Going alone, shouldn't I go with you? If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. I was hoping I could learn a bit more about Grey Wardens. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. Hmm. Have you been, ever been to the fortress in Weishaupt? Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lad. And very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me. But they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. Hmm. Uh... Why has it been so long since the last blight? Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the darkspawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them. And it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. Hmm. How many wardens are there? It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thetis. The Anderfels are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately knowing how unguarded it is. How were the Wardens founded? It was near 1,200 years ago, and no one knows for sure, except that it began with a group of Ander soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinter themselves. They were the first ones to track down the Archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, though none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order, and were recognized by Thedas. I guess that's all for now. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Got it. I like this guy. Okay, and we're gonna go talk to... Anora. Um, in the last episode, we got put into a dungeon. <laughs> we got rescued by our new boyfriend, Zevran, and uh, Morgan. And it was quite a quite a rescue. So let's talk to Anora and see what she thinks about all of this. I'm not sure if I trust her. It is good that you came to speak with me. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. You think you are a better candidate than Alistair? Do you disagree? You are a fellow Grey Warden. What do you think of Alistair's potential to rule? Never mind his willingness. Um... We all do things we have to, sometimes. Indeed. I am also doing what I must for the good of my country. 
Alistair seems like a kind, well-meaning man, and biddable enough. These are admirable qualities, if not kingly ones. He also seems to be a fine Grey Warden, which is exactly why he should remain one and serve the kingdom by defeating the Darkspawn. Hmm. A kind king who is a fine warrior sounds good to me. Oh, there are some who would follow Alistair out of respect for his Therian blood. The others would see this as Eamon grabbing for power. Who else do you think Alistair would turn to for help? Eventually, the nobility would return to the old days of constant warring with each other. Alistair's weakness would destroy everything Merrick built. You don't seem to like Alistair very much. My feelings towards Alistair have nothing to do with it. I barely know him. I simply believe that I am what this country needs. I will fight for what I believe. Would Alistair do the same? Thus, I say again, I would welcome your support for the throne if you would give it. Um... Are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Why not simply marry Alistair? Ah, do we want to do that to him? <sighs> or do we want to keep Alistair um, as a Grey Warden? He doesn't want to be king, and he's one of our best friends. I agree. You'll have my support in the lands meet. That is good to hear. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? What do you think about marrying Alistair? I try not to. Ignoring <laughs> that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. Mm. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Um, true. Forget I said anything then. Consider it forgotten. Now, if there's nothing else... Uh, I have some questions. Ask me whatever you like. What do you think will happen after the lands meet? Do you want me to try my luck at fortune telling? There was an old woman who read palms in the village of Gwarren when I was a child. She told me that I would have ten children and be bald as a winter heath when I grew up. I can't say I put much faith in foretelling. <laughs> what will happen depends much on you, Warden. But you certainly knew that already. Does it make you uncomfortable sitting, siding against your father? Of course it does. Do you think me heartless? But how much worse would I be to calmly stay at the side of a man who murdered my husband? I met with Kalyan at Ostagar. He was a good man. He was, and far happier in the field than in the throne room. He was reckless, impetuous, and charming. Had he not been king, he would have made a dashing rogue for a band of players. We were a good pairing. He would not have wanted the burden of ruling any more than I would have liked remaining the silent wife in my husband's shadow. You should tell people what really happened to Kaelin. They would not believe it, most of them, even from my lips. Loghain is a hero they've looked up to their whole lives. Far easier to believe you or me a liar than him a murderer and tyrant. That's why it will be critical to find some way to discredit him before the lands meet. We must have proof of my father's crimes for the bands, or they will never believe us. Why did Loghain leave Kaelin to die, do you know? Caelan was so idealistic. The world was his storybook, and he was the hero. And my father is different. He's an idealist too, but he knows what idealism costs. They often clashed, but never seriously, never for long. Caelan would always come round to father's way of thinking eventually. And then the blight came. Caelan dreamed of uniting all the nations of Thedas against the Darkspawn. It was a dream he wouldn't surrender. 
What my father saw, however, was the boy he had swaddled inviting Orlesian troops back into the land he had fought to free of them. And mm. for once, my poor, foolish husband wouldn't back down. I'm sorry for your loss. It was more than just my own loss. But I thank you all the same. Another question. Ask me whatever you like. I'd like to understand Loghain better, if possible. Ah, uh, well, he was once a farmer when he was a boy, if you can believe it. <laughs> I never could myself. He's useless with plants, for one thing. I remember my mother once asking his help with a sick rose vine. My mother oversaw the rose gardens personally. He touched it. No more than that. And it shed half its leaves like a dog with mange. She never asked for him to help with her roses again. He bought her another one, though. He carried it back from Denerem with the branches overflowing his saddlebag. Despite the thorns tearing him bloody, he wouldn't let anyone else take it. He wanted to be the one to present it to her. Mm. My father has his faults, Warden. But he is far from common. Um, why would he ever have trusted Oral Howe? Trust would perhaps be putting it too strongly. My father knew what Howe was. And while I despised the man... I knew that father relied on his political mind. I expect my father thought himself above being influenced by the snake. Truly, I wonder how many of these acts stem from how and not my father at all. We may never know. He planned overthrowing Kaelin before Ostagar. I'm not sure. I had no inkling of my father's plans until Kaelin was already dead. I would like to think that my father planned for the worst, but did not truly decide that Kaelin was a lost cause until that moment in Ostagar. The alternative is difficult to imagine. Is he truly beyond reason? I hope not, but I fear it is so, yes. Why doesn't Loghain back down? Because he believes he is right, Warden. He thinks he is the only one who can see Ferelden out of its current crisis, even if it is one he helped engineer. My father is capable of remarkable blindness but it stems from his love of Ferelden. that is the saddest part of all i think mm, i should go then i wish you luck warden okay i like her <laughs> i'm all right with her being queen and i think uh alistair would be happier not being king um what do i do what what now do what now All right. Eamon, are you... Are we good? Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. We have much to do and little time. I should get... We need to do all that we can in the few days left to us before the lands meet. Oh. Okay, what, uh... Oh, the alienage. That's right. We gotta go find out what's happening down there. Bum, bum, bum. Um... Dang. Dragon Age stirs up emotions in me. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why, uh, but... Uh, yes. So, well, I know indeed. why. It's a, it's a good game. It's good storytelling. Tough choices. You know, for um, Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition, there's supposed to be a website that you go to and put in what Dwarven all your choices crafts. were. Find Dwarven Craft. Um, I tried loading that website and it doesn't load anymore, so I don't know if it's shut down or something. So, man, I hope our, you know, other, our Dragon Age 2 and Inquisition playthrough is going to have our choices in there. I would like it to be, like, you know, like one whole playthrough of the series with our, I uh, know. Venture forward. All right, we're in the alienage. Looks like there's a quest here. We are grateful. The compact is renewed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Veril Baron. What do you need? I have a letter from the. Oh, this I is all. I suppose a noble death fighting the blighted wretches is better than basking in this squalor. They'd better be paying well. <laughs> okay. So we had a few things to turn in there. Uh, an 
here, I thought elves all smelled of wildflowers and sunshine. <laughs> oh, I thought he was talking to Zevran, but he's talking about this. Someone's coming. What? Haggard human. Thanks for running those thugs off. I thought they were gonna kill me. What are you doing here? <laughs> That's a question. What are you doing here? I was on my way home. Look, I'm leaving, and you should do the same. The knife ears are all riled up. Why? Someone tell me why, and maybe I'll be able to help. Spare a silver for a war veteran? Uh, where'd you get injured, soldier? Ostagar. Darkspawn took off half my foot. Oh. Well, here's a... Sovereign. Oh, Andraste, bless you, sir. I won't forget your face. No, I won't. All right, we have enough to spare. We can. Hopefully, that was not a uh, to Vinter. I think that's a, tree a few planted in the middle of misery. It rather beckons a single sad little tear, does it not? Really pretty, actually. Uh, is Shiani from the. If you start as an elf, I think so. I didn't teach you people anything. Nope. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out plague. to the alienage. Quit trying to get That's us all COVID. killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? There's plague here? You shouldn't be here, dwarf. Your kind don't leave the market district. These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Sirian? And Valendrian? There's a plague. Why are people out in the street? These men from Tevinter say their magic will prevent people from catching it. But it doesn't work if you're already ill. So they set up a quarantine. But many of the ones they quarantine aren't sick. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. What's a Haran? He's... He's the elder, the person who guides us. Maybe that doesn't mean anything to you, but it's important to us. Um... I think I'll go take a look inside the hospice. They won't just let you in. I wasn't going to ask. Well, just be careful. Those men are mages. Yeah, yeah, I mean, do you know who I am? Hey. I ask you to stand back. Some of these people are carrying the plague. The alienage is not safe for visitors. Um, aren't you afraid of getting the plague? If we did not know how to prevent the plague, we would not be here now. And you would spend the legendary magic of the Imperium on lowly slum dwellers in Ferelden. Tis most remarkable. It is hardly in our best interests to allow a plague to grow anywhere. The Imperium is hardly remote. It is hardly close, either. Across the sea, with whole nations between your borders and ours, and that is not enough to protect you? For your own safety, we must ask you to leave now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going. You have already been told to leave. Please do not waste any more of our time. Can I get you oh. a ladder? This so place is full of plague back. victims. No one enters. Out of my way or I'll go through you. To arms! Protect the hospice! Oh, well. <laughs> what in the makers? Okay. <laughs> I guess we're fighting. Stop him. Maybe it's ah! okay, all right, all right. You can't stop me. Why have all our skills turned off here? Final blow? Can I do this one? Yeah. Why is this elf woman attacking? Oh, Why are we being attacked by an elf woman? All 
right, all right. You cannot win. Get this on too. Yeah. Okay, are we good? Well, we killed the Tevinter soldiers. I don't know. I don't know if that was the uh, right thing to do, but we did it. I don't know why this elf woman attacked us either. Can I get you a ladder? Hospice so you can get key. Lesser to winter robe. Ooh, mana regeneration in combat and spell power. Um, Morgan, what do you have on? Robes of possession. Oh yeah, th these are the sick robes. Winter enchanter. Mana regeneration, spell power, dodge attack, gold ring, acolyte stuff. Cheap. Ah, uh, okay. Let's real take really take a look at this. Morgan. Um I mean I still think hers is the best. Like that's the best she could get, I think. Uh what about that staff we picked up? What does she have on? Winter's breath still the best. Uh Ogren, I'm worried about your stuff, actually. Got juggernaut. You really need a better helmet? I have a better one. Um, pretty good with your thing. What about ring on you? And Zevran, I, how close are you to leveling up? Pretty close. What's your, can I see what your... Strength is seven. Oh, you just need one point. Okay. As soon as he levels up, we're going to be able to get him some really nice stuff. Hey, Shiani. Well, that's one way of getting through the front door. <laughs> Are you going to go inside? I hope they don't hurt anyone because of this. Um, not going to hurt anyone. Thank the maker. Please hurry. I mean, I can't promise that. All right, what's going on in here? Are you people? COVID in here? Oh! There's a... Uh... I'll get on it. Uh-huh. I don't see any sick people. Now is better than later. Yeah. see coins. Are you oh. selling people? I'll get on it. I actually don't know what's going on here, but... I see coins and a lack of elves. But they're selling them as, like, slaves or something. Right, all right. Or test subjects, maybe. Who knows? Grab all this stuff. Uh, let's grab. Don't need that. Pile of coins. I will take that and the ice salve. And the note. The key with this note: bring eight males and six females for the night. No yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. You're selling people. Side door. Oh, this probably was the sneaky way to get inside. Scarecrow. <laughs> Creeper. Apartments. Alienage tree. Let's click that. Uh, Ashiani, where are you? Are you all right? What was in there? Where is everyone? I found this note. Let me see that. What does this even mean? They can't be shipping people, can they? Shipping them where? Have you seen them bring anything out of the hospice? No. People go in, but they don't come out. They aren't shipping anything out of there that we've seen. They could be moving through the back alleys. There are all sorts of buildings back there. They could be using one as some sort of warehouse, staging area. I'll take a look. Or there is a key with the note. There are apartments off the alleys. I would go to the back of the hospice and maybe follow the alley from there. If you find oh. any more information, please let me know. I refuse to accept that they're all simply gone. Okay, we saw the um, apartments. What's this, by the way? Sir Otto. Hey. 
Is someone there? Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. What happened to your eyes? I appreciate your candor. Most stare. Or worse, the awkward silence. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. Hmm. Sorry. Don't be. Many of my brethren died in that battle. What's the Templar doing here? We'd heard rumors that there's an enclave of Maleficarum hidden in the alienage. Are you in any condition to fight Maleficarum? Sadly, not anymore. But I have years of hard-won experience. Often the chase is as difficult as the resolution. So I do the Maker's work in whatever way I can. Have you found anything? I have found no evidence of Maleficarum in the alienage. However, there is something else. This place, it's scarred like me. When I came here, I immediately could feel an air of hopelessness, despair. But over time, I felt the wrongness runs far deeper than that. What do you mean? I don't know. But the feeling of wrongness never wanes. And so I attempt to puzzle it out. I don't suppose I could impose upon you. What do you want? It took patience, but some elves opened up to me, and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. Like the hospice they set up that doesn't have any people in it? Um, any reward? Sometimes the doing is its own reward. I'm a poor Templar with little to offer, but anyone who helps me will earn my thanks and my prayers. Any idea where I should start my search? None. I thank you for humoring me on this. If I am wrong, I will rightly feel the fool. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make a watch over you, child. Okay. I mean, well... Official note. Mystical side of power. Oh god, what I do? I touch something. Okay. Drosty's grace. It was Liliana's favorite. Now's better than later. Ah. Uh, a dead dog. Pool of blood. The house has eyes. But Grandma calls. What's a girl to do? Oh, it's good to see you again, friend. You were so generous to me before, and uh -huh. these are other veterans. I'm an orphan. Oh, and uh, uh, an orphan. Please, my lord, can you spare some coin? Are you really a veteran? I am insulted. A veteran campaigner am I. And Oli is as bereft of parents as anyone's ever been. He looks old. My mom is especially dead. <laughs> no need to mention that, Oli. Will you help us? <sighs> Here's your chance at a better life. Oh, oh, you're too kind. Just too kind. The maker preserve you. Long live the good sir. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to come back for us. Uh, I was trying to look at this dead dog here. This is a corpse of a rabid dog. It looks like he was skewered with a spear. Nobody has cleaned up the body and it appears to have been dead for some time. Interesting. There's a notice. Bearing arms is prohibited. Sick elf. <coughs> what are you looking at? Deranged beggar. Official notice. Sick elf. Official notice. Sir Otto. Let's see if we can find anything out of the ori amethine. Your kiddo, huh? There's nobody to play with me. What's this? City map. I don't want to go there. All right, let's go into the apartments then. Where was that dog? What have you found? There's a dead rabid dog in the alley. I'll report that at once. I've heard such afflictions can spread. Even from a corpse. 
I suppose someone may not have known that. Hmm. That's by the orphanage, right? A sad place. Did you find anything else? What's the orphanage's story? When the elven riot was being suppressed, the orphanage was stormed. It was bad. Why would they storm an orphanage? Have you found anything else? I'll keep looking. What, um... The feral dog? Oh, I didn't click this pool of blood either. Feral... This pool of blood is still damp. Besides the coppery smell of blood, you also pick up the faint scent of bad eggs. That's probably something important. What a... The frail dog looks almost rabid. Oh, poor puppers. Yeah, I did find what other things. What have you things. found? Uh, pools of blood, the smell of rotten eggs. There's been no fighting in the alienage recently. Which means the blood is not congealing. I suppose there could be some explanation for it. One odd thing I am willing to believe, but two is no coincidence. Let's head to the orphanage. Both of your clues were near there. All right, let's go. What about the rabid dog? Are we, uh... <laughs> you okay, dude? feeling is intense here. This is the right place. I know not if it's the work of the Maleficarum, but there is definitely evil here. You go first. I will follow. Demon, maybe? All right, all right. A ghost. Oh, let's open the first. Broken chest. No, let's go side. Oh, that place is haunted. What the heck? Do you hear me, Sir Willem? Sir Willem? I'm a falling Sir Willem. Sir Willem today. Maybe. Oh, another ghost. Can I get you a ladder? Not possible so to you pick. can get off my back. Oh, 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 scary, scary. <laughs> Rabbit war dogs. dogs. Anything in here? Wooden crate. Okay. What about the other one? Nothing. Can't open that. Tormented woman? Fighting like a haunted ladder? house, basically. Get off my back. <laughs> Charred corpses. Something's in the middle here. 
This. This is the center of it. Oh, God. You do not belong here. Blessed be the maker and his prophet, Andraste. Your pathetic maker is nothing compared to my glory. I command you, show yourself, demon. Hide in the shadows no more. You dare to command me? Let us see if your precious maker can protect you now, worm! A rage demon? I'll get on it. Please don't kill my new friend here, Sir Otto. Okay. Tons of demons now. You doing okay? Yes. Okay. Alright. Got it. And loot these demons. We won. Oh. At one time I considered myself quite the warrior, but you accomplished here what I never could. But something still isn't right. I feel there is more to this. Nearby. The building next to us. I can feel it. Just on the other side of this wall. Let ah. us go. Okay, be careful, my dude, because I'm worried about you that you're able to sense this stuff, A, and B, uh, you're not very good at <laughs> Look at all the blood. Something okay. is coming. It's a rage demon for sure at the heart of this, I think. Okay. What do we got going on here? Can I get in a better position? Was that Zevran? It was. It was. Strength? What? We don't want that. Dexterity. Cunning. Uh, does that do the trick for us? The assassin thrives on the movement of death. Stamina is partially restored whenever the assassin fills an opponent with backstab. Huh. Rogue collapses at enemy's feet, making them lose interest and seek other targets until the rogue gives up the ruse. A feigned death. <laughs> this rogue gains an almost preternatural ability to sense and avoid danger. This talent grants a one in five chance of evading physical attacks, including being stunned or knocked down. That's going to help his survivability. So, um, and then, you know what else will help his survivability is we've got some. Yes, put this on. This on. Uh, put this on. Looking good in the neighborhood. And Augren, I know these don't do anything, but we'll put this on too. Okay. Alright, continuing on. Charred corpse. Don't care about arrows. We don't have a I don't want to go yet. Please. Get on. It's cold. Okay. I'll get on. Now Shall we compete? What's happening? We're stuck. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and just kill these guys. Man, where did all these bad guys come from? Severin! I thought I gave you more survivability! Shade. 
Okay. Let's see this guy. Okay. Oh, who'd you hit like that, Ogren? <laughs> okay. Morgan, what is what's happening back here, huh? We're just fighting a demon in the corner. Okay. Continue on then. Whoops. I'll get Dry on. Corpse. We'll take that. We'll take that. Uh, we are headed this way. Leave me alone. Just go. I'm not gonna hurt you, bud. The voice is. Oh no, rage abominations. All right. Will protect me. They will. <laughs> His voices will protect me? I don't think so, buddy. Does it explode? Is that what's happening? Yep. <laughs> Check the rubble. Okay, saving the game. Probably a rage demon. You think uh -huh. you are safe? Though the golden city has fallen, I have seen your face and your light. I am your- Save your pedantic chant for your sermons, Templar. You have killed my brood. The Maker compels you. Show yourself. The Maker. There is no Maker. There is no golden city. But there are demons. Yes. Watch out, Otto. I hear not your blasphemy. Oh. By Andraste and all the divine after her, I order you to face me. You delusional fool. Uh, just to be back. Okay. I'm not gonna summon more. Now's your time to die. <laughs> we have done it again. I feel the darkness receding. I have seen the work of demon before. Some Maleficarum consort with them. But the Maker must have guided. Oh! Oh no! And now, you die! Otto! Uh -huh. I'm mad at you. That was my friend. I think we have fire resistance on Zevrim now. Hi, can you? Now is oh, better no. than later. Aw. That sucks. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Well, <laughs> that, that really sucks. I liked him. Okay. Oh god, are they multiple? Are these the uh, beggars? Or finale stuff? <laughs> there he is. Now, no crowding. Let the good sir breathe. There are a lot of unfortunates in the alienage, sir. Many uh, veterans. Orphans, the diseased, and sad tales of all sorts. I still don't have my parents. Yes, sir. And poor Oli still doesn't <laughs> have his parents. Anything you can spare would be appreciated. Um. You think I'm a fool? So sorry, friend. Honestly, most everyone here has a sad tale. You've been good to me and Oli. They... Just heard of your good deeds, is all. A whole lot of you are beggars? After the riot, many people were left without a home, sir. 
don't have a copper between us. You're like a hero here, good sir. Oli and I hadn't eaten for a week before you showed up. Even that fellow with the fine outfit? I, uh, found it. You aren't a real beggar. All I heard was there was free coin over here. Fine. <laughs> Every one of us. Except the one you rightly pointed out. All of us are unfortunates. Here, 50 silver. Oh, oh, huzzah! Huzzah for the hero of the dinnerim! All of us are eating tonight. <laughs> I heard there was free coin over here. All right, well, we did what we could. Okay, well then now it is time to go into, we saw, this is the apartments, right? Yeah, we saw these apartments, so let's just step inside and see what's going on. And, like, up this way. Chest. Free Sailor Sextant. A beautiful antique sextant. This instrument is very valuable to the Guild of Free Sailors. And a bone for Kevin. Okay. Aww. Got it. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. Use the key and leveled up. We're not waiting on anything else, right? Okay, then I will put this in. Let's get 50 strength. And the rest can go in constitution. Yes. And, perfect strike. And the warrior focuses on precision, gaining a massive attack bonus for a moderate time. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Accomplished warrior. Where's that perfect striking? Uh, skill... We taunt, disengage. What if we put it instead of taunt? Oh, it's just like a one time thing. Cool down 30 seconds. Getting a massive attack bonus for a moderate time. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's like Berserk. I'll Who get knows? on it. Who knows? Ba -ba -ba. What's this? Another shipment already? Do we want... Wait. You're no Tevinter. Who are you supposed to be? Um, who are you supposed to be? Quick, get them, hurry! Very panicked there. Alley go. Okay. Let's try out our new skill. Okay. Jeez, look how fast these guys are going down. I don't know if that's all us though. Let's go get this guy. See him. Ow. I'll get on. I'll get on. Ladder. So you can get off my back. Okay. I'll get on. Find on them. Anything to tell us to Venter soldiers? Now's better than later. Okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> where do we go now? Eat mushroom. The warehouse. Maybe into the warehouse? What is the meaning of this? 
We were told that there would be no interference from the authorities. I'm not with the authorities. Oh, an errant group of do-gooders then? You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we've been given dispensation to do our business here. The humans talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? Um, you best get out of my way, now. Big words from such a small creature. Let us finish this then. I intend to see you pay for the damage you've done here. Okay. I see you. you are going down. Where'd you go even? Devera. Oh god, there's so many of them over here. Alright. Let's go. Oh god, oh dead. I wasn't paying attention. I was playing around with the new skill. Uh, please get her down. Time for a little bloodletting, I see. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, is that going off on yourself, Morgan, I hope? Nope. Alright, does that bring you and me? Powerful boyfriend combo here. And we gotta watch our health, because now we don't have a healer. Alright, that I was not paying attention. Ogren should not have died. That was 100% right, just right. me not watching his health. We're we still in combat or. Bow of the Golden Sun. You know, you know who would have liked that? Liliana. I'm still mad she left us. <laughs> Alright. Well, here we are. Here we go can I get here? you a ladder so you can get here? off my back? back I see it. Uh -huh. Enemies ahead. On your guard, oh. Rex. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. No more oh. Oh. Mm. Okay. You guys. So we're selling elves to Tevinter for slavery. Okay. I'll get on. This private documents. You guys drop anything? I don't know why they don't fall over right away. That must just all right, all right. probably a common glitch. <laughs> Can I get you? Uh huh. Ladder. Hello, everybody. I'm not quite sure what you're doing. Them all. There we go. You're gonna regret it. <laughs> okay. With those. All right, all right. Open this door. Probably more fighting. Yep. I know we are over on time, but I kind of want to do the end of this little place here. Leave these people. them and then I'm assuming there's like a big fight beyond these doors here 
I am tempted to leave you guys hanging, but I won't. Alright, let's head in. I am Caladrius, and you, I assume, must be the Grey Warden I've heard so much about. You've heard of me? One can hardly get a word out of the Regent besides Warden these days. It's surpassed even gold in popularity. Um, then you should know to be frightened of me. Now, now, is this how we begin? With bluster? I was hoping for civility. No. I can bash your head in with civility. Easy. Well, I'm going to say, um, get to the point then. I've heard that you're trying to erode Logan's support. It must be a difficult task, yes, yeah? like washing away a mountain. Perhaps you could use some help. Don't you have an agreement with Logan? More of an arrangement, truth be told. One that disappears the moment angry armed intruders storm my abode. Truth be told, there was always a limit to how long we were going to be able to operate here. We've paid for many of Logain's troops, but once the land's meat is done, we become inconvenient. So, here is my offer. One hundred sovereigns from you for a letter with the seal of the Terran of Guaren upon it, implicating him in all of this. Then, we leave a few days earlier than planned with our profits and remaining slaves unharmed. Tis a reasonable enough starting offer. I suggest you look those elves in the eyes before you agree to have them hauled off to slavery, my friend. Oh. So, do we <laughs> I have was going to take it, but... Uh... Even you must admit it's much better than resorting to barbarism, yes? Uh, I forgot we're dating it, Zevran. Um, I have a counter offer. Interesting. Leave the elves and the letter. Take your money and go. Oh, no, that won't do. These elves are worth... Well, the entire trip isn't profitable without them, I'm afraid. Have you anything else to suggest? Uh... You leave everything. Get out with your hides. Now, that's not much of a deal, is it? Uh, let's do this the All hard right, way. All right, well, I was going to try, but... Men, shall we? Zevran wants to save the elves, and... I see the enemy He's my boyfriend, so... We gotta do what we gotta do. All right, let's go. Um, I'm stuck on the ground. Hey, Caldrian. Coming for you. Oh god, Zevran's already dead? We might have to restart this. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh... Load game. Load. Alright. I'm gonna start again. I'm just gonna have to put up, for, well, put up with Caldrius for a little bit until we get some of these peons down. Zevran can't just go running in there all gun ho. Oh. Or are we way back at the beginning? Oh, yuck. Alright. Oh! <laughs> So save right outside the door is basically what we're going to have to do. Who is she healing? Okay. Her going down so freaking fast, man. Shall we compete for fights? He just took a... A thing. Why is he going down so fast? All right. All right. Oh. Oh. Jeez, 
Jesus. Um. Let's finish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening with you, Zevran? Okay. What? Why? Something is going on with him. Maybe in this path. Okay. All right, well, all of that being said, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Let's get Ogren up. And then in the next episode, we will continue on through uh, this place and we'll try that guy again. Sorry to end it right here, but we are we are already over on up. time and that guy... What you need? Nothing. Get out of my way. Aye. All right, then. And that guy uh, at the all end right, of this is right. proving to be a little bit difficult. So um, we'll end here, and when we come back, we'll take on that guy. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Dragon Age Origins Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.